How are you doing? In this video we're going to try and get this on there. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Right then, so the first thing we're going to do is get this screen off and uh, go from there. Uh, I'll do my Frankenstein spanners. Same on this side. So remove the first spanner. Put the bolt back in. There's one. Same with this one. Just take the bolt out. So, put this bolt back in, uh, bring you around the front, so remove this screen with these two bolts, put these black bolts and they've all gone rusty look, all pointing by black bolts. Should have got stainless steel, you know. There we go. Uh, I might be able to get a better look at it. I don't know if it's take all this metal work off again or we'll leave it on. But uh, let's just see how we go. Falling asleep. Hey, let's offer it up and see how we're looking. Yes, I like that. I can get that to go back a bit closer to the lights or on top of the lights. circle out there and a circle out there At first I think I've got to cut some off here because it's touching the fault legs That's going to make it come more like that isn't it Okay, so I've got to mark out underneath where to cut it goes back a bit further so bear with me while I do that right then before I make the cuts on the uh, fork tubes I'm thinking of taking this off because it is like bulky and it's catching and I want that to go back as far as possible so I'm going to take this off drill them out Before I can do that, I've got to take this little plastic top off. If I can find the right Allen key. That's one. one. And there's one on the other side. Here we go. And this should just lift off. Yes, to get all this silly metal work off. Just gotta drill these rivets out and it should come off. I've already done the other side.
too. And a jolly good free. Hopefully this should all come off. He says. I don't tell me I can't get it out without taking that screw off. Go on, you can do it. That's it. There we go. Take that off as well. Same with this side. Hopefully it's not going back on. I can weld all these holes up again before I spray paint it. The screws already come out to get this screw out. So that's all that excess baggage out, baggage out the way. Where's my fairing gone? It is. See how far we can get it on now. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah. As I know you can see inside there, but this is going to keep it dry. And the other side of this is going to be painted matte black. So you won't see a thing. I don't want that V to go in there. Better put that top back on first, I don't mind before I start cutting anything. Like so. Probably should be the same. I'm going to eat that up actually and bend that down a bit more. Oh yes, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh yes, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to knock these legs out and cut those bits out. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have uh, walked it there and there. Got these old fork tubes, which are about the same as diameter as the other ones. So if I cut on the inside line, we should be there. for the top of my pen and it's on the top of my pen looking for the top of my pen and it's on the top of the pen what am I talking about hey not me okay then so I'm just going to uh, cut through it with the Dremel splice it down break the bits off and then use something like that to try and tidy it up I don't want a mask. Tidy them up a bit more, and I will tidy them up properly when we get to the point. Do fit on there nicely, but now I've got to start cutting here and here. So try and work out how to mark that out so let 
me have a think and I'll be back in a bit. Right, I've walked out a piece of cardboard. I'll keep that out of there. Then. That wants to be about there. So if I mark that. There. I'll cut that out. <laughs> Do you reckon? I don't know. Yeah, cut it there first and see how that looks. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so that's about as good as I'm going to get it. About to cut a load off the bottom as well. Let's see how it fits. You're going to stay there? Stay there. Well, yeah, you're quite happy with that. I even like the eyebrows. This is going to look mad. I'm going to have to alter these. But like I was like, because of that hole there, I was going to try and cut it off level. Probably cut that off somewhere, make it shorter. I might even cut that piece off there. Just go level with the fork. Yes, all I've got to do now is work out how to fix it on there. You've got to make some sort of fixing bracket. Yeah, you see this side I'll definitely have to cut off. But there's a crack there anyway. I don't know, cut off across there, something like that, I don't know. Could I be even use something else? Who knows? But yes, I'm happy with that. Very chuffed. Yes, so I hope you agree that it's looking okay. So in the next video we'll be making the brackets and we might be uh, altering these things or even changing them for something else. So before I go I would like to uh, bring up the last video which was on my engines, parts, uh, the valves. I did leave that uh, cylinder head overnight uh, and the fluid level was exactly the same as when I left it the day before in the uh, ports I think they were the inlet manifold ports I filled them with fluid as you know and left them overnight and they were still exactly the same but the valves did seem to have like little tear drops coming out but whether that was when I spilt it but I thought I did dry it up pretty well so anyway, basically what I want to try and find out is what actually makes the valves leak. Is it the oil valve stem seals what make the uh, valves leak and make the engine smoke or is it the seat with the if the, if the seat or is it if it's the seats and they have uh, little pits on is that what makes the uh, valves leak? So if anybody could uh, advise me on that, it would be much appreciated. So anyway, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on the next one.
I see you in another life, brother. 